hello guys welcome to the channel i hope you all are fine and doing great today we are going to discuss this union find problem of gfg so let's move on to the problem guys uh, so guys here we have to implement is joint set union okay I, uh, I will tell you simply what we have to do so here we are given two function union and is connected in union we have to connect two different subset like 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 we are given one and two is a set of nodes and now uh, and suppose other one is three and four okay suppose these two are set of node and we have to connect them now how can we connect them for connecting these two together what we can do we can uh, we can connect one and three we can connect one and four we can connect two or three we can connect two or four okay so these are the four possibilities if i am doing any of these then one two subset is connected with three four subset okay guys now h1 is efficient uh, for us we will see this but now in union we have to do this okay and suppose if like uh, here we are a graph like one two three now here these both are already connected so we don't need to do anything okay because the both are connected if you want a path then these both are connected okay guys so this is what we have to do in union function now is connected function now is connected is a function in which we are given two variable x and y and we have to tell whether x and y uh, will be from a same subset or uh, from say, uh, same set union or not like here before joining this one two and three four subset if anyone ask me is one and two are from same set i will say yes because they both are connected will three and four are same yeah i will say yes but if uh, uh, if the problem is asking one and four i will say no but now if i connected them by any of the four one three one four or two three two four now if anyone asking one or three connected i will say yes one or four connected i will say yes two or three connected i will say yes two or four connected i will say yes okay guys so here it does not matter what is the structure of our graph which node connect to which node in a subset it is not compulsory in a subset it is not matter how the graph connect to each other okay this is very important for me. the structure of the graph does not matter to us but the only thing matter how many nodes are connected to each other because we know if a if a graph is connected then o and contain n nodes suppose then a1 to a n all the nodes are connected because they uh, all have at least one path which connect all of them in a single subset okay guys so this is important structure does not matter for us yeah matter for time complexity okay i will tell you how but uh, then what matter number of nodes uh, okay structure does not matter only point you need to know okay guys now for now let's move on to the problem what i want to say actually this is a very important point if you understand this you just understand the problem okay guys now suppose we have to add one and two this is given to us u u means union one two now uh, suppose n is equal to five taken the test case one that is given to us so we have total one two uh, we have total one to five node okay we don't need to write it now we have to add one to two so we can what we can do uh, we will make two as our parent uh, one as our children now we are given a, uh, another union one and three add one and three now guys suppose we have what we have to do we have to connect one and three means we have to put three in a subset of one means we have to add three in this now we have two case of add three what is two here one here three. now other one is here two here one here three because now if if is connected one comma three asking to me in this case one and three are connected in this case as well one and three in this case as well one and three are connected okay and the only thing we want to know whether they are connected or not how, what is the longest path shortest path how they connected number of nodes in between which does not matter to it the only thing matter are they connected or not okay so what is the efficient way of adding one and three okay guys now here from a particular node uh, for a two nodes a and b if we want whether they both are connected or not what what we will do in is connected function we will find the parents of a 
and we will find the parents of b this is what we will do in is connected function we will find the parent of both i will tell how but this is what we do find the parents of both and then uh, like i am explaining you what i will do we are finding px parents of x py parent of y and written px is equal to is equal to y means if px is equal to py means they both belong to same subset means uh, they both uh, like here if i have to find whether one and three are connected then parent of one is two parent of three is two so both are uh, both are equal so it will return one means px is equal to y return one else y return zero in this case as well parent of one is two parent of three is one now parent of one is two now we have to find the ultimate parent like in this case parent of three is one but we have to find the ultimate parent of a complete graph uh, suppose a graph contain thousand nodes then we don't know the current parent we have to find the ultimate means the topmost parent of a particular subset okay and we have to return whether if these both parent are equal we will return yes as well no i hope you understand now guys what we will do now now which is efficient way for uh, for adding 3 in our 1 2 subset when we are given 1 and 2 what we will do we will find the parent of 3 we will find the parent of 3 and the parent of 1 now what is parent of 3 this is given to us this is given to us that that initially initially parent of i is equal to i parent uh, rank of i is equal to 1 okay now parent of i parent of 1 in this case is 2 parent of 1 is i just to make it perfect correct parent of 1 is 2 and parent of 3 is 3 now how we will know we whether we have to add now what we will do we will find out the rank of 2 and 3 rank of 2 and 3 now what is rank mean rank means the number of nodes the number of nodes in this subset okay like initially rank initially uh, where, where yeah initially rank is equal to 1 for all now here when we are adding 1 and 2 then what happens this is 1 uh, 1 this is our rank array 1 1 1 1 and 1 means all nodes contain uh, a single node now when we are adding 1 and 2 then rank of 2 will became 2 means now 2 is the head of a node 2 is a parent which contain two number of nodes okay guys now after adding after now we will see who have rank less who have rank less we will add we will add 3 to that uh, we will add this 3 to that particular uh, node now rank of 2 is rank of 2 is 2 rank of 2 is 2 now rank of 3 is 1 so rank of 3 is 1 we know 2 has the highest rank so what we will do what we will do we will add 3 directly to 2 okay this is we, what we will do now why we will do suppose if we have if we have to find out whether 3 and 2 are connected or not okay guys now what we have to do i have to go to 1 and 2 so i have to find out the parents of 3 okay now in this case finding out the parent of 3 i require two number of nodes in th this case i just require a single number of nodes so when number of nodes became greater then we require as number of comparison or as number of function required for me so my time complexity reduce if i am doing this one approach means who have rank greater who have rank greater add the particular node to that node okay this is what we will do now if you like if we are given this one 3 and 4 and i have to connect 1 and 3 rank of 1 is rank of 1 is r1 r3 number of nodes in subset of 1 2 3 now uh, and i have to connect 1 and 3 okay or i if i have to connect 2 and 4 as well suppose i have to connect 2 and 4 okay and rank of 2 a uh, rank of 2 actually does not matter for me now we i have to find out the parent of 2 what is the parent of 2 parent of 2 is 1 now what is parent of 4 parent of 4 is 3 so i have to connect 2 and 4 now guys i have to connect 2 and 4 and parent are 3 and 1 so if i connect 1 and 3 then it it by default add 2 and 4 in my same subset as well 
okay guys so instead of adding 2 and 4 what i will do i will adding 1 and 2 uh, 1 and 3 sorry because this will reduce my rank updation function this will reduce my rank array updation function and parent array updation function okay guys now how uh, parent uh, so it means i have to add 1 and 3 so rank of 1 is 2 rank of 3 is 2 okay these both are equal now what what i can do either either i can do this either i can do this and increase rank of 1 from 2 to 3 or either i can do 3 1 2 uh, 4 and increase rank of 3 to 3 okay these two are the possibility which i can do okay here rank of these remain same rank of these remain same but rank of 1 change here rank of these remain same rank of these remain same but rank of rank of these three update why because i am adding a number of nodes in uh, in three okay while these three remain same these three remain same similarly here these three four remain same these two remain same but here the length the number of nodes the maximum number of nodes in a chain in my one subset increase similarly here number of nodes in my set increase now it is three I have three nodes in a maximum chain three one two okay so why i am doing this so like if i have to add two and three okay uh, suppose if this one two suppose if this one two this one two and three or four are given to me and i have to add three and two and three if i directly add two and three then how my array will look like one two two then three then four okay but instead instead of this if i am i am doing this then you can see my uh, my searching complexity will reduce okay my searching complexity will reduce a bit okay guys this is what i want to tell you so now how we will do it so first of all we are finding out the parent of x i will tell you how we will find the parent this parent function as well okay i will tell you uh, this as well now p is equal to parent of a comma parent parent is the array this is given to us parent b now if rank of parent a is less than rank of parent b then what i will do means our parent uh, b has higher priority has higher uh, number of nodes then i will just add this pa uh, this pa as a node in my parent b so now parents of my pa nodes is became pb where p a and pb are parent of a and parent of b respectively i am telling you here if i have to add i have to add uh, two and four two and four then i it means i have to add three and uh, one okay guys so that's why instead of a and b now i will perform operation on p a and pb means parents of a and parent of b okay now if my rank means the number of nodes in my pa is highest than pb then i will add pb as uh, pa uh, then i will add pb in uh, as a children node of pa so my parent of pb became pa okay guys now parents of uh, else well if these both are equal what i am doing pa is equal to pb means uh, i am adding uh, pa node in my pb and increase the rank of my pb with one so what i am doing i am following this case i am adding this one in one and increase but this uh, rank by one okay i just erase this so that what i am doing i am adding my a node in my pa this is my pa uh, this is my this is my a this is my pa this is my b this is my pb so i am adding pa in pb and increase rank of pb by one okay and at last i just return now is connected i found parent and return whether the parent are equal or not now how how i finding the parents like here when i am like initially all the five parent are one two three four and five now when i am adding one and two then what i what i can do so how i will add it like two as a parent and one as a children so now parent of two remains same but parent of one will become two 
parent of 1 became 2 now if i am adding 3 and 1 so i will found the parent of 3 now parent of 3 is 3 and the rank initially is 1 its rank became 2 because number of nodes are 2 its rank became 2 its rank remain 1 1 and 1 now parent of 1 is 2 now now rank of this is parent this is rank now rank of 3 is 1 rank of 1 is rank of 2 is rank of 2 is uh, rank of 2 is 2 so what i will do i will add 3 as, uh, as a node in my parent as uh, 2 is my parent now 3 is my simple node so my 3 parent will change to 2 now parent of 3 will become 2 and 2 rank will become same now oh guys this is how i am updating it now suppose if i have to find out okay one more case i am taken so i am i have to add 3 and 4 i have to add 3 and 4 now parent of 3 is 2 parent of 4 is 4 rank of 2 is 2 rank of 4 is 1 i will add 4 in my 2 this is also became parent became 2 now i i have to find the parents of 3 parent of 3 then i will go i will check this this is 2 then i will go to index 2 then i will see the index number means the current is the index number the current parent means current parent is equal to parent of current parent means there will uh, there will be a node head node whose parent is 2 now parents of 2 is 2 parents of 1 is 2 3 is 2 4 is 2 these current node and parent is different current node parent different current node parent different but for this case for this case current node is 2 parent is 2 means we are teaching our head so what we can do means 2 is our parent of a particular node i okay so similarly what i am doing till my parent of current node is not is equal to current node then i will update my current to parent current okay now suppose if there is a case like uh, one uh, one two three okay suppose this is a case this is node one node two node three node four so how this is parent of node four is three parent of node four is three this is just a simple case i am telling you now parent of three is two parent of three is two parent of two is one and parent of one is one so this is our graph so i have to find out the parent of four now the parent of four is current is equal to three i will move to here now uh, and three is now it is equal to four that's why i move to here now we are have to pair this is our pair array meant parent array this is our current index current so now current is not is equal to pair pair parents of current current is three parents current is two so what i will do i will move to what is parent current two i will move to two now parents of two is not is equal to parents of current means current is not is equal to parents of current two i will move to this one now current is equal to parents of current current is equal to one and parents of one is equal to is equal to one i will return one means one is the node which is the topmost node so this is the parent of my four this is the ultimate parent of my four okay three is the parent of three uh, three is the parent of four two is the parent of uh, three but one is the ultimate parent means all of these nodes have one common parent that is one so we have to reach that node okay guys we have to find the ultimate parent by using parent array this is and at last i just written current okay that's why now you understand why I am adding why I am adding this to reduce the searching complexity. Okay, because we always want our rank of a particular ith node as low as possible because it will decrease our searching element. It it will so it will definitely reduce our time complexity as well. So correct output is it is shown. So guys, you can see all the 21 test cases pass out. Uh, I hope you will understand the approach. Okay guys, if you have any doubt, then dry run it. First of all, dry run it because this is something which you may be not get in first attempt. Okay, so please dry run it first of all. And if you still have any doubt, then just comment out. I will try my best to explain you. Meanwhile, you can subscribe the channel, like the video and please press the uh, bell button to get updated as soon as I, update the, uh, uh, as I upload the video. 
uh, so please like the video subscribe the channel and thank you for watching this guys straight on